In this video, we are going to talk about a few controls in this middle section of the tractor right here. Let's start with the crossfader. What crossfader allows you to do is it allows you to transition the volume from one deck to another. Let me show you what I mean. When I play deck A and deck B, you can hear that both sounds from deck A and deck B are kind of the speakers. Now if I move the crossfader to the right, you can see that the sound from deck A is starting to gradually uh, fade away and the sound in deck B is becoming stronger. And when I move it all the way to the right, only the sound from deck B is coming through and no sound from deck A. Now if I move it back to the middle section, you will see the opposite starting to happen. You will see this you will see right in the middle that even the amount of sound from deck A and deck B is coming through. And when I move the crossfire to the left, you, you see that only the sound from deck A is coming through right now and no sound from deck B. And I can stop deck B and there's no difference. Just another way to prove that this is exactly what's happening. To recenter the crossfader, just go ahead and double click on it. Now the channel faders let you adjust the volume for each individual deck. So if, if I want to adjust the volume of deck A, I can go ahead and adjust, just move the, the channel fader down and you will see that the volume from deck A slowly decreases. And now it's completely at zero. This will always show as plain, but there is actually no volume coming through. And you can stop that B, and now this now there is no sound coming coming at all because this is completely muted and this is stopped. And I'm gonna increase the volume now. If you have a controller that doesn't have the crossfader on it, but it does have the what the volume fader or the channel fader for each deck then you can map those that con that control on your hardware to the software control and control your deck volume this way the next thing I'm going to talk about is the mixer basically this mixer controls uh, if a few types of frequencies that are coming from the speakers. This low filter controls the saturation of low frequencies. This mid filter controls the saturation of, of mid frequencies. And this high filter controls the saturation of high frequencies. So let me go back in deck A. And let me show you what I mean. If I want to increase the saturation of low frequencies, I would move to the right. You might not perceive it, but there's actually more bass coming from the speakers now. If I want to decrease all, all the low frequencies, I can just move to the left. Same thing for the middle frequencies. Now all of this has been has has been has been cut. If I want to increase the middle frequencies, I can just move to the right. So this lets you mainly adjust uh, what frequencies you want in your deck by moving these knobs and same for the high. If you want to completely cut out certain frequencies, you can just just click this icon right here, this little button. And this will automatically cut off all the high, mid and low frequencies, for example. So this is what that does. Now the gain lets you adjust the gain uh, or the volume of each, of each deck. So let's say that 
you have one deck that is syncing to, to another but one deck sounds loud sounds louder or does not sound as loud and you can control how much you want to adjust this loudness for if you want to make it louder just increase the gain or make it quieter just decrease the gain so it gives additional control now when you analyze the tracks Tractor gives you an option to set the auto gain on a track and it, and it usually does it by itself to enable Tractor to automatically adjust the gain for you just click on this blue icon right here and this will set the auto gain to negative 1.8 decibels which means it's going to make a track a little quieter than it actually is in order for it to be about the same level as other tracks but I'm gonna if you want to have manual control again just click this click this button again and you, now you have the full manual control the filter control lets you filter out also frequencies but in more in more in basically in another way by a single control so if you have a deck playing and you turn the filter to the right this will try to leave the higher frequencies while filtering out the low and mid frequencies and you can hear that pretty much right now only the high frequencies are coming through if you turn it to the left this will cut out the middle frequencies and the high frequencies but leave the low frequencies intact so this is what the filter control does so this was a brief overview of the middle section of the tractor and this should be giving you enough information on how to get started with tractor and how to DJ with tractor thank you for attending the second course